Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have seen how basically a function is defined and how to pass an argument to a function. In this video, we will continue further and have a look at how to return a value from a function. Well, to do that, you have to change the method definition. So I will be using a hyphen and a right anchor bracket. And then I will say the return type of this particular function is string. And then when I do that, you have to actually return some value. So what I will do is return whatever the value that is there in the temp i will just make it uppercase and return that and what if you want to catch hold of the value that is getting returned from this particular function for that you can just create a let return value and then invoke the function and now if i print the return value it is going to print me the uppercased message with a slight modification well when you are working in the playground even if you don't catch hold of the value that is being returned from the function it will just work perfectly fine but this is not the case when you are actually working in a swift project let's assume that you were actually working on a project with swift programming language and you had a method print which was returning a value so you can observe that this is a print message function which returns me a string and what actually i am doing is inside whatever the value that i pass the string value i just uppercase it and send it back and i am invoking this particular print message inside invoke print message and when i do that this will give you a warning the warning would be result of call to print message is unused what it basically means is this particular function invocation is returning a value and i am not catching it one way of resolving this particular warning is you can create a constant or a where and catch hold of that particular value but sometimes you may actually want to ignore and don't want to worry about catching hold of that particular value in playground you can just leave it as it is but here in actual project you can assign it to a underscore when you do that it will not give you that warning saying that the return value from a particular function is unused so that is how swift is very clear that whenever you read a particular code you can pretty much sure that developer has intentionally ignored value that is being returned from the function it was not just a mistake that he overlooked something and did not use a value that is being returned from a function when you see this particular code you can be pretty sure that developer meant actually what he did so let's go back to the playground and continue the discussion further this function is pretty lame so let us change this function let me create a function called calculate let this function calculate the interest as you are aware calculation of an interest is prt by 100 first one is principal i want to make it float rate of interest which is also float and then term which is also float and this particular method returns me calculated interest which will be a float and what i can do is return principal multiplied by rate of interest multiplied by term and divide it by 100 and that's it let interest is equal to calculate principal let the value be say 10000 rate of interest is 12 percent term is say five years and that's it and you can directly use the method invocation in the print method also using the string interpolation assume that the name of the method instead of being calculate it is actually calculate interest so in that case some of you may feel that it is not necessary for you to write principal rate of interest and term these are understood that it is prt by 100 so the first value is always principal and second value is always the rate of interest and the third value is term you don't want to use argument labels when you are invoking the function this is how what a typical c style function invocation would look like if you really want to do this you can once again use the underscore that we had used to ignore the return value of a function the way you do this is you use underscore and space and you can do this for all the argument labels and in this way you can still maintain the 
old C style way of doing the function invocation. I don't suggest that you do this because I personally feel earlier way of function declaration and invocation is much more intuitive for any developer because if you do function invocation the first thing that you usually think in terms of is what is the name of the method what are its arguments and what is it returning the swift way of writing function declaration and even function invocation is much more intuitive than what you would have done in C. So even though underscore allows you to resort to C style of method invocation, I would suggest that in Swift you do the function invocation and function declaration the way Swift prefers doing. There are few more things that we can do with functions. We shall see that in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.